seems small and unuseful and undernourished and not necessary. No, I'm bringing forth 30, 60, and 100 fold. I'm bringing forth what is mine and what I want to show you that's impossible is possible. Hallelujah. And I'm going to put wings on those that are older, Dave. I'm going to put wings on those uh, that's got a lot of problems in their bodies and are suffering with pain. But I'm going to lift them up. Hallelujah. I'm going to lift them up into a new place that they haven't been before. I'm going to put them in a place that they've never been before. I'm going to encourage them. Come on. I'm going to show them that I know what I'm doing. And it seems like I'm late, but I'm never late. Hallelujah. I'm going to be right on time in your life. And I'm going to bring victory that you've been waiting for. I'm going to bring miracles and healing. I'm going to bring deliverance suddenly. Like you've never seen. There's going to be a sound from heaven. Like a rushing mighty wind. It's going to bring you victory. Preach from your experience. Dance from your experience. Sing from your experience. Yeah. Laugh from your experience. Yeah. He said, I'm going to beautify the meat with holiness. Yes. He's going to take that that's ugly and make it beautiful. He made dirt, made Adam out of dirt. <laughs> That's why the enemy comes after you because he's after the dust of the earth. Go well, fast a little bit. You'll starve him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord, we reach into your pocket today. You got handfuls on purpose. <laughs> Glory to God. I just saw that. Woo! Handfuls on purpose. For who? For you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They went. Naomi and Ruth. And what's the other one's name? Oprah. Oprah was the mother of the five giants. Orpha. Orpha. Well, she's somebody. Orpha. Yes. She wanted to go back, remember? She didn't want to go on. It was Naomi. But Ruth said, if I perish, I perish. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. And then Ruth said, wherever thou goest, I will go. My God, will, your God will be my God. Your pain will be my pain. Your burden is going to be my burden. You're going to suffer with those that suffer. Or you, uh, listen, our worst pain will come if we don't help people. God wants us to lie down in green pastures. He wants to restore us. He wants to show you the hand of mercy. The hand of goodness. The hand of help. The hand of relief. Now, Lord, we, you got us here in Arizona. Don't you like it's got an arrow right on it? <laughs> you and the arrow is going to put in his quiver, in his bow. He's going to shoot you to where he wants you. you everyone in this room, listen. You're here by divine appointment. Yes. That means everybody. Yes. Divine appointment. Amen. God's going to put you in a stretching place. Yeah. Stretches for the glory. We're making room for the glory of God. You can live in it, talk in it, walk in it, move in it. Hallelujah. Making room for the glory. For the glory of the Lord. And it doesn't come easy. Sometimes it seems boring. Do I need to go over there? Is this necessary? I'm going to tell you something. If you've been in the heavens being entertained by angels and you know that they have brought the food to you and they've made it possible for you to have the, everything that you have if you live by faith, it's boring when you get with people that don't live like that. <laughs> it's boring. Right? It's boring. There's no excitement about it. They don't suffer. They don't have the eagle's eyes. They're not looking for something new. They're not finding the cleft in the rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Came to this world with nothing. We're going out with nothing. I'm telling you, God wants to do miracles like you have never seen. Hallelujah. He wants to 
us to put things in your house that weren't there yesterday. Amen. How did this get here? Well, the Lord stopped by here today. Come on. Amen. The Lord is coming this way. He said, get out of the tree here. Come on. Remember he said to the disciples, get out of the tree. I'm coming to your house today. How many want to hear the Lord say that? I'm coming to your house yeah. today. Yeah. You better be there. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, he's got something he's going to deliver. He's got a care package that won't even fit in an airplane. Come on. He's got, I'm telling you, God's going to do something. You, I know seven times in my life that I couldn't even tell friends because it would make them jealous. It's the Lord's doings. That's what it says. It's the Lord's doings. You're, you're nothing. But he found somebody he could trust with the miracle, with the mystery, with the revelation. And I heard Ruth Hefflin come to can speaking on the glory. And she said, I don't even know what I'm going to speak, how, what it means. And she went to get her a, a Jewish lady in Israel because she thought she knew more. She said, all right, I'll come. And then she called her up and said, the Lord didn't speak to me. He spoke to you. She came to camp and said, I'm going to speak on it for 17 days. Do we have 17 minutes of the glory in our lives? She said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I believe in God to come in the atmosphere. And this is why you're here today. We're going to believe Richard's going to play the right music and I'm going to sing the right song. And the right word is going to be spoken and the right vision is going to be given. you got to get that dogmatic about the Lord. you got to go after him like a bulldog. Come on. And when he gets hold of that bump, you're not going to get it away from him. When you come into the knowledge of how great God is, how wonderful he is, how beautiful he is. Listen, the Bible says there's nothing about him that man would desire him, but his ways were beautiful. Only God can do what he has done. Never no one has ever done what he has done for me. With all their money and all their care and all their words. Now, listen, he did in one minute what took them five years to pour into me. How many can say that? What it means is a thousand years as a day. Listen, it means God can do in one day, which will take people a thousand years to do. A thousand years. God doesn't want us forever tasting of the Lord. Come after him, honey. Come on, run after him. Don't let anything be in the way. Know that there's something more. Let a hunger be there for something more. Hungry, hungry. And when you get hungry, you don't want to eat in the natural. Because you know it's not going to satisfy what God's doing on the inside. But only he can satisfy the longings of the soul. And I'm speaking miracles like you have never seen. Yes. Miracles. Yes, yes. Miracles. Yes. Miracles. I knew when I traveled with Ruth Heflin that I was going to get a part of what she had. I'm not anything like her, though. But I was going to get a part. Do you understand? She come preaching on the glory. And we were like the bird in the cage looking at the mirror. Who is this? What is this? And don't despise the day of small beginnings. You think nothing's happening. Oh, God. First of all, he's measuring you. He's measuring you with a garment. You can't see it, but he's measuring you. And then he's going to tell you what kind of anointing he's going to put on you. He's fitting the armor for you to fight the battle. Come on. Nothing's too hard for God. Glory to God. We're going to go through some waters that's going to be deep for us in the days to come. We're going to go through fires we've never experienced before. But he's going to make the shining honor of the Lord be upon you. The honor of the Lord. The honor of the Lord. I'm teaching you something this morning. That you listen to people talk. Listen to their voice. You can tell whether they've been in the inner chamber or out of chamber. I'm not trying to compare myself for you. I'm not saying that. But you can tell if there's a heavy weight on their voice, on their spirit, where they have been with the Lord and he's been teaching them. They've been in, in, in the inner chamber with the Lord. They've seen some things, suffered some things, uh, sacrificed some things to the Lord. And mainly it's time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mainly it's time unto the Lord. Uh, he's a jealous God and he wants more of us than we think. Uh, and sometimes he just gets a pinch or a hand clap or a hallelujah, you know, one or two. No, he wants, bless the Lord all my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Come on, take 
Hey, can't you see I'm no good without you? How many know that? You can't do anything without him. Lift your hands one more time. Hallelujah. Learn to, yes, learn to say those words. Holy, glory, and hallelujah. Let that be your satisfying portions. Holy, glory, and hallelujah. Those are the words that please the Lord. Holy, glory, and hallelujah. Lift him up with the highest word. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty.
We finally managed to squeeze in the shofars. Come on, you've got something to shout about. The angels can't even sing your song. Do you understand? You've been redeemed. Now we're going to do it again. We're taking the victory in Phoenix. We're taking the victory down in the Capitol. We're taking the victory in Washington. Come on, we're taking the victory. You better take it. They're cooking up things that you don't have a fire big enough to put it out. Get yourself so soaked yes. in the Lord. Yes. I got arrested in China, and I didn't know on my passport in Chinese it was two people traveling. And the man kept saying, where's your friend? And I didn't quite understand him. I said, I don't know. But she had ran ahead of me. She was upset about something. Aww. And he kept, and he was getting mad, and I was too. <laughs> and the ladder he got, the ladder I got. He said, where's your friend? I said, I'm telling you, I don't know where she is. You see her? I mean, I was getting upset. Well, he already took half of my bottles. Uh -huh. We were smuggling them in. I got caught because she got all hers in. I got half of mine in. But he asked me three times, and the ladder he yelled, the ladder I yelled. Okay. I said, I don't know where she That's is. <laughs> you know, when you get tired, you get a little belligerent. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can scream at a ball game. How about crying when you Amen. come before God? Amen. Come on. Amen. Let us stay on that. I'm not, I'm not picking on you. I'm telling you, there's more down in here that wants to explode in the spirit. Amen. That you'll see visions. Brother Jerry and Jean see visions. Lori and Steve see visions. God wants all of you to see visions. So that means you've got to get rid of yourself. <laughs> and this girl came to me three nights. And I went home and looked the word up, and it's really, listen, it's not in the dictionary, honey. It's in the heavens. Oh, yeah. These people that are preaching, it says, Webster says, <laughs> Webster's not talking like God. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Amen. What's God saying? And she said, you need to get liberated. I thought, man, it was dusty, and I'm breathing and all that stuff. And I thought, well, what does God want me to do? Well, put a little more strength into it. <laughs> The Holy Ghost will set your feet to dance in yes, Holy Ghost will fill you through and through. Oh, the Holy Ghost will set your feet to dancing. What's the rest of that? Set your heart to dance in What? Set your heart to dance in Anybody remember that song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the Holy Ghost will set your feet to dance in Oh, the Holy Ghost will fill you Then suddenly you feel the rhythm of heaven. You don't know what it is. I know it's strange. Come on. But the ways of the Lord are foolish. And you don't know what you're bringing about, what you're bringing deliverance to. You might be dancing for a city overseas in one of these communist countries. You might be setting Israel free from her enemies. Come on. But God will use you because you're the tabernacle. Hallelujah. Working it up for God. Okay. Oh, the Holy Ghost.
jail in Philippi. Amen. And they began, they were determined to preach the word of God, so they threw him in jail. And a jailhouse rock. The Bible says they began to sing it the night. The angels came by and took the shackles off of the car. And opened the prison door. They're trying to find out what happened to them. What happened? We put these guys in here. Have you ever noticed in the biblical times, the people that were supposed to make sure they took care of all the enemies of the, the town. You know, you're an enemy to the town if they don't want it. They put the people to death that were supposed to be watching over them. We're going to put our enemies on the run. I'm serious. Now, what you want to do, listen to me carefully. What you want to do, God wants us to move into a higher place of praise. And he wants to come and tell you how your praise pleases him. Now listen, that doesn't happen very often. I've heard a prophecy twice in our ministry in Virginia. The Lord said, your praise has pleased me today. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to release for you. That's why a lot of people don't get miracles. Because they don't really know how to express themselves before the Lord. You realize if you suffer pain when you have surgery, how much would the victory be if it was done without pain? Oh, yeah. You'd be running and telling everybody it was a piece of cake. You want a bite of it? Hallelujah. And I'm not trying to be silly here. I'm telling you I've learned through praise and through dance and through victory, I've had a lot of releases and miracles in God. The problem is that people want to be too pious sometimes. Oh, Lord, we know you're mighty and sanctimonious, you know. Well, we already know that. You can't, you can't even describe how great the Lord is. All you can do is say, Amen. Amen. Hey Amen. God's going to do it. I tell you, he's going to do it. Lord. He rolled back the waters, the Bible said, until the foundations of the earth from the beginning were shown at the Red Sea. Wow. Amen. Now, we need for God to move for this nation. Yeah. I know I'm hearing from God because Richard was playing all those songs when we came in. This is what a prayer meeting is about. What is God saying about your prayers? You come in with joy. Come on, that means God's in charge here. When, when, raise your hand, Rini. When Rini was singing last week, she got this little sound on her voice that I saw the flutter of their wings on her voice. Jesus. I could see the wings of the living creatures fluttering. Because it was a holy sound. You understand? God's got a sound, honey. It's not in a pretty voice. It's a holy sound. Come on. We got a lot of songbirds. I'm going to be very open here. God's looking for the sound of the dove. He's looking for the sound of the prophetic, of what God's doing. Your song is going to speak of what God's doing. You understand? Yeah. That's why David was singing new songs. He said, sing it to the Lord a new song. What's God doing? What's God doing in your life and my life? What he's doing in me is for eternity. Oh, God, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. I got healing miracles like that. And you learn to do it. Don't listen to it. Forget how you were raised. Just forget how you were raised. Brother Shambach said he took somebody to church with him one day that was very educated. And he said, oh, Lord, please don't let anybody run around the church tonight. Please don't let anybody cry, scream, speak in high tongues. So he said the spirit started to move and he hit the floor. But a friend with him thought he was supposed to do it too, so he got in on his knees. And then the joy hit the service. This is a true story. And later his friend said, Brother, why didn't you tell me all the joy was in this church? Why didn't you tell me? Now listen, I know we're a little reserved. We've been trained that way. And I'm not trying to be silly. Don't be silly. It's not being silly. It's flowing with the Spirit. Flow with the Spirit. And in the glory rim, you don't have to ask God for help. I want y'all to get this. Please don't come for prayer afterwards. Or Sister Ruth taught us this. Didn't he tell you that, Gene? He told you that when we were in high praise, we were doing everything that we wanted him to do. Raise your hand. She said, Lord, they don't pray much over there. And 
And the Lord said, that's because they're my priests. And when they praise me, they're doing what I want. Amen. Come on. You've got, you've got victory in your mouth today. It's the voice of the Spirit. It's the voice God's declaring. And he wants this high-sounding, he said, high-sounding symbol, high-sounding praise. Read it in 150 of Psalms. He said, I'll subdue nations by your sound. I will bring nations to their right place by the song of the Lord. I will bring order in Washington, D.C. Come on. Hallelujah. We got nine days saying, hallelujah. Woo! Christmas will be wrong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Much more shall come your way than you expected. 
because I hold everything in my hand, saith the Lord. And I know how to release the 30, 60, and 100 fold. But I say, be obedient unto me and watch me work. And you shall see that deliverance shall be on every side. And I shall bring victory, victory, victory. I shall bring hearing to those that are deaf in the spirit. I give eyes to see the glory and the glory realm. And quickly they shall move to the forefront for me. But I say unto thee, be not lazy and held back for me, but open ye wide. The gates are open, and I invite you to come in, saith the Lord. Yea, I invite you to come in, that the glory of the Lord shall be upon you. Lift your heads, O ye gates, for the King of glory is coming in. Let me in, and I shall show you the, my presence. Yea, you shall see my face. You shall feel my nearness. Yea, many shall be weeping. Many shall fall before me in satisfaction and in gratitude for what I have done. So open ye wide unto me. Hold nothing for yourself, but open wide, saith the Lord, and I shall come in, and the King of glory shall be revealed unto you, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Said it was mine. Ooh. 
and I'm going to use it. We're going to take a trip. I had four dollars. <laughs> and I want to help her. And I've opened my mouth to tell her I didn't have the money, but I, no, no words came out. She said, oh, don't worry. You don't have to pay for anything. I got enough money. Well, you know, that's a big trip. You have to cross the bus. They call it the bus stars there. And, and it's quite a few miles in to see the seven churches of Asia. But I said to the Lord when I first got saved, I'd like to see the churches of Asia, but not on $32. That was, nobody took an offering from me. Nobody even asked if I needed any money. Or they happened said, just go with us to Russia, and you go ahead and get on the plane and go on over to Turkey. And I'm waiting for somebody to take an offering. I don't even have a credit card. But I had the $32, and I've told you all the story. I can give you 25 more just like it. God's got it all. And I got to the, I got into that woman's place, and she had just gotten saved. Praise God! Two weeks before, on the block where my sister lived wow. in Virginia. Wow! One church and two houses there, and I told her, I said, "You got saved on this street, on this city." She thought it was a word of knowledge. I'm I'm calling to her up on the third floor. I rang her doorbell. I had her address. And that came by coincidence. Come on, God doesn't want you trying to figure it out. You don't have brain enough to do all that. You can't do it. Let the, the Spirit do it. And I saw the seven churches. Oh, just ruins. Come on, just ruins. But the Lord wanted me to see it because I asked. He said, ask largely. And I want you to ask right now. Everybody start praying in tongues. And ask largely. What do you want from the Lord? Come on, what do you want? Hallelujah. 
<laughs> We're going to go out and greet the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, God wants to boost your faith. Yes. He wants to boost your faith to such a level that everything you need is in that one realm. Come on, that one realm. Yes. That one place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him some more hallelujahs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you, are not, you know, the church has got to wait that word.